even over two decades after its release in 2000, there is no game quite like Fear Effect. Although bearing features from the likes of Resident Evil and Another World, the myriad of experimental elements forms an extremely distinctive whole. A visual standout amongst Sony's grey box, this survival action game boasts solid mechanics and engaging storytelling that's only undercut by a deep layer of challenge. Perhaps one of the toughest games on the system, those averse to insta-kills and challenging gameplay may find it too much to bear. But for those who can keep their cool, the game does bear fruitful, stylish rewards. Just bring a spare controller, perhaps. What starts as a simple plan turns into something far more twisted, as three mercenaries serve as our protagonists. Hana, Glass and Deke hope to get a payday by kidnapping a wealthy triad boss's daughter, but things go south immediately as their inside contact is kidnapped and tortured. Their rescue mission turns out to be a trap, forcing Hannah and Glass to defend themselves from mobsters and a VTOL. The story only spirals further from there, involving a myriad of twists, supernatural injections and mature storytelling. Though unable to escape some of the cheesier dialogue prevalent in gaming at this time, its cutscenes and storytelling are both a cut above competing titles, making for a really enjoyable yarn to unravel, including some shocking, genuinely violent scenes that push the envelope. You have no idea what you are up against. Ha <laughs> ha! I find this funny then. How's this for a punchline? On the surface, Fear Effect follows the ever-prevalent survival horror template from this time period. Swapping between each mercenary at story-determined points, you guide them through a handful of distinct environments using tank controls, fending off enemies with guns, and solving some typically convoluted puzzles. A few rely on environmental clues that you may totally miss if you are dashing through, most notably the bomb defusal puzzle near the start of the game. A lot of the features you'd expect from this genre are present, including static cameras, limited saves only accessed by radio points, and plenty of backtracking, such as when Hannah must make her way back through a now electrified power grid while avoiding electrocution. So far, it's standard survival horror. Although similar to many action games of the time, Kronos would make some smart changes to the formula. The streamlined menu utilised the letterbox display, allowing you to swap key items without needing to enter an inventory screen. While you can pause the game still, the removal of this extra hoop makes Fear Effect feel snappier, compared even to Resident Evil. Characters can also dual wield certain weapons and target multiple foes at once, perform a role to dodge enemy fire, and even crouch, which comes into play during certain fights. You can also utilise crouching to perform stealth kills, which ties nicely into the health system. Rather than typical medkits, characters improve their fear meter through feats such as performing stealth kills, solving certain puzzles, and reaching key locations, which adds tension to exploration when you begin to reach lower health levels. One of the more divisive elements of Fear Effect would be its high difficulty, even compared to competing titles. General exploration and combat can be tough, but most of the frustration comes from insta-death hazards. But much like Another World, there's a morbid glee to be found in seeking these out. From electrocution, being burned alive, gunned down, and even detected by chefs who set triads on you, each is well rendered and memorable. Each disc even features unique game over screens based on each scenario, but for the impatient, these moments will force trial and error to pass, which can become infuriating when combined with limited saves. It's a tough nut to crack, 
especially the first disc, where you'll face a couple of difficult boss encounters and some bewildering puzzles. The story and visuals go a long way to calming this aggravation, but the impatient need not apply here. Mileage will vary as a result, with most likely taking around 10 hours to polish off Fear Effect. Repeat runs with knowledge of the route through can be shorter, naturally. For true masochists, hard mode makes enemies tougher as well as ammo harder to find. It will likely drive most to breaking point. There are also five endings available, mostly based on your actions during the final chapter, and the true ending can only be earned by completing the game on hard mode. This one perhaps lacks the replay value of competing games, with little in the way of unlockables, but the game definitely warrants a revisit if you can stomach its challenge. Uh, we're gonna splash! Oh, bloody hell! Ah! Easily the most striking element of Fear Effect is the visuals, boasting motion FX technology which, rather than opting for traditional pre-rendered static backgrounds, utilises looping FMVs to create an unbelievably cool look that allows for movement and motion in these scenes. They are, naturally, a touch compressed to fit on the PS1, but it still creates some truly gorgeous backdrops and also warrants a hefty four discs. As you travel from a futuristic Hong Kong to a flame-kissed backwards village, everything looks superb. On top of this, the 3D characters look highly impressive, with a cell-shaded style that gels with the backdrops incredibly well. Some oddities, such as the odd lip-sync gaff and background stutters, aren't enough to spoil the quality graphics. The sound matches this, with excellent music which mixes ambience, haunting synth and low-key instrumentation to a great result. Perhaps the opening Hong Kong theme exemplifies this, creating an incredibly unnerving atmosphere which sticks with you long after completion. Voice work, though boasting some of the cheese the genre is known for at points, feels higher quality than many competing titles like Galarian's. Writing toes the line between corny and serious well, and some excellent use of sound effects, such as the unnerving heartbeat that increases as you take damage, are top notch in terms of quality and how they're used. While initially appearing to follow the formula set by many before it, Kronos would implement some noticeable tweaks and present one of the most distinctive looking games to ever launch on the PlayStation. Narratively intriguing, mechanically sound, and a distinct adventure, Fear Effect proves enjoyable, but is also undercut by some noticeable issues. Those not keen on trial and error, challenging survival gameplay and frustration may find this one too much to bear, especially when you factor in lengthy low times after each death. But for those who cut their teeth on tricky games from yesteryear, the pros will likely be enough to warrant a look. Oh, uh. 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 